Yeah, it's uh, minus two or minus three right now. It's so uh, freaking cold. <laughs> Stage one, the prologue is done. 20 kilometers, 1200 meters of climbing. Um, managed to do it in about two hours. So very happy with that. Very technical course, lots of ups and downs. A lot of places where we could have just gone over the handlebars. So um, pretty happy to make it through there unscathed. It makes me very optimistic for the remaining six days. I know there's gonna be some tough periods, but um, I was very nervous going into this first stage. Hey Anton. Hey Alex. <laughs> so we just finished stage one and this is the village. There's my tent, I've got Anton's tent here and we are team what the hill. Over there in the distance is the, I don't know what you call that, that's just the general area where we eat, relax, get drinks. Anton's just had a shower so I think I better get a shower too. But yeah, see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> It's uh, day two and um, 6.20. I wanted to sleep to seven really, but these Kiwis love waking up early. Uh, all right, get ready. Breakfast. I have to have a big breakfast today. Oh, well, I have to have a big breakfast every day. You've got to put in the calories. Check out the line to the toilet. Oh well. Better get into the into that, I guess. Well, I survived the shitter. Literally the shitter. There was shit everywhere. I'm not very good with public toilets. I'm done. Okay, we are 60 kilometers in. For uh, what's that? 46 kilometers more to go. So, a bit more than halfway and check out the view. All right, mate, how was that? Awesome, buddy. Yeah, so stage two we just finished. Uh, it was the first real stage. 100 kilometers in seven hours, 106 kilometers in seven hours, two and a half thousand meters elevation. I've never done that before on a mountain bike. I'm freaking stuffed. My knees are sore, my back is sore. This attitude is slipping. <laughs> uh, yeah, talk about it. So we're on the plane somewhere, it's really windy, but look at that! Sharing stories, I uh, just finished stage three. Okay, made it to the last climb of the day. Check out that view. Made it, buddy. Look at that view. Still got snow. Still got snow over there. Now carry on, guys. Keep talking. Just ignore me. I know I look like a muppet. Very, very cold. Eight degrees and one degree at the top. Twenty-five degrees kilometer wind. So it was really, really. Luckily, they took out the first climb because it was just too cold. Managed to complete it. Uh, and now it's sun and shining again. It's incredible how the weather changes here. Day four. 
It's getting harder to wake up. <laughs> so, it's supposed to be easier. It's supposed to be easier. Well, we gotta go up there. And then we gotta go all the way up there. And all the way up there. And up there. And then, she said there's a bit more further beyond that. All these lazy guys are pushing their bikes. Yeah. I can't think why. An eighth of the way up? 800 meters to go, perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> Just finished stage four. Here we are, Anton in the background. Look at that view. Pretty special, eh? Everyone's looking at us like we're a bunch of twats because we're uh, doing a video blog. Anyway, yeah. yes, because I am. Cool stage. Three parts really. First part was nice and cruisy. We stopped a lot, took a lot of photos and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Second stage was a massive hill. Thousand, thousand meter climb. Just. Uh, we were seeing 18 degrees gradient, 24 degrees gradient at times, so it was really, really tough. Okay. Um, it's 5.30, it's uh, pitch dark a bit. Um, we start an extra hour early today because it's the green stage, which means it's the toughest stage of, the, uh, of, the, of this thing. Two to three degrees here in the morning. Very cold. Thankfully, there's no wind and there's no rain. There's something to be said for that. All right, queen stage, and we're stuffed. We've got pretty much about 40% of the way through the stage, and we've done two big climbs. Really, really cold this morning, like my feet and hands. Luckily, the sun's just come up, so we're just stopping for a while, getting some feeling back into our hands and our feet. Just made it to the final climb. I've done three and a half thousand meters of climbing today. And if you just get over that top of that, just over the hill and down, if we get to the end, it'll be 114 kilometers. But three and a half thousand meters of climbing, I'm stuffed, I'm, I'm burnt, I'm just toast. Whew. How are you feeling, Anton? Was it worth it, Alex? Was it worth it? Oh, I'm never doing that again. And poor man pleading with your eyes, gonna make you so about halfway at this point, 60 kilometers. The stage, you can see the lake behind us. We go all the way up to top to Snow, snow Farm. Almost at the top to Snow Farm, where I guess they farm snow. This is the snow farm. Normally, this is covered in snow. I've just had a massage shower it's easily inside my top five favorite things I've done this year it was so good to have someone try and ease out the knots on my back very cool this is in the mountains um, we're in snow farm and uh, we've I don't know this, you know I think day two was the toughest for me you know when we first had that long ride Anton that was really really tough um, everything was hurting I was cramping quite badly but uh, as the race has gone on I felt a lot better I don't know about you buddy but um but obviously the worst day was day five. Day five was really bad. You know, 11 hours in the saddle where we didn't know where we were. We were forgetting things. I couldn't, I put my toothbrush down. I couldn't remember it and walk off without it. Forgot to shower. It's, it's, it's really weird how mentally it just makes you so tired. But anyway, one more day to go. Should be all downhill, but we still got 1500 meters of climbing. So we'll see how it goes. Roughly that way, I think. Over those little hills. I really don't want to get out of this tent, but. I have to. <laughs> oh. Last day though. Last day. Yay. We gotta cycle into this in about an hour. <laughs> Finished it. Seven days, 
550 kilometers. So solo rider. 15,000 meters of elevation. Swedish Limited Edition. It's yeah. Anna Carlson. Welcome it's, back. It's Anna. the best participation Welcome medal I've ever received, for sure. <laughs> Keeping this one. <laughs> Jesus. Woo! I tell you what, waking up this morning was tough. Actually, waking up every morning was tough. It was like minus two degrees. This morning was minus two, yeah. Minus two. <laughs> Anything that's not a freaking sandwich or a or a or, or, mousse, or a, a bar or, or from a tube. Oh. Oh, Okay, so had a couple beers now, and um, I have to say, this thing caused quite a bit of problems for me this week, I have to say. I mean, after the first two or three days, I was thinking to myself, well, objectives, objectives achieved, seen South Island, hung out with my mate Anton, managed to do some pre-season testing, so I'm all set for the driving season, it starts in about a month or two. Why do I need to keep on going? Yeah, I saw some stars, you know, nice clear skies, so, why keep going and I thought oh, just keep going for pride really and this silly participation medal it's a participation medal god damn it I will never ever say anything bad about participation partici I will never ever say anything bad about participation medals ever again